Good morning, everyone. Our topic for today is Lesson 3-3. Multiply 3-digit by 2-digit numbers. You will find this lesson on page 125 up to page 128 from your book. Here are the learning objectives for today's lesson. You're going to multiply 3-digit by 2-digit numbers by combining equal groups and adding partial products. Solve problems involving multiplying 3-digit by 2-digit numbers. Our focus for today is to answer the solve and share and essential questions, guided and independent practice, and the mathematical practices and problem solving. Let's start with the solve and share and essential question. A local charity collected 163 cans of food every day for 14 days. How many cans did they collect in the first 10 days? And how many did they collect in the remaining 4 days? How many cans did they collect in all? Solve this problem any way you choose. Let's analyze this student's work. Look at Jared's work. Jared draw a picture and multiplies to find the partial products, then adds them to find the final product. So as you can see, the given is 163 multiplied by 14. So 163, he breaks into 100. 60 and 3 and 14 he breaks it into 4 and 10 so the first step he just simply multiplied 4 multiplied by 100 that is 400 4 multiplied by 60 is 240 and 4 multiplied by 3 is 12 then add all the partial products which is 12 plus 240 plus 400 so so my first partial product is 652 then after that i'm going to multiply 10 Multiply by 100, that is 1,000. 10 multiplied by 60, that is 600. And 10 multiplied by 3, that is 30. So 1,000 plus 600 plus 30, that is 1,630. Then to get the final product, you need to add these two partial products. So 652 plus 1,630, so the answer is 2,282. Therefore, the answer to the problem, 2,282 cans were collected. In all. Look at Aisha's work. Aisha multiplies to find the partial products and then adds them to find the final product. Aisha multiplies to find the partial products and then adds them to find the final product. Just like for example, 14 multiplied by 3, 14 multiplied by 60, 14 multiplied by 100. The given is 163 multiplied by 14. That's the original one. So he breaks this one 100 into 100, then 60, then 3. Then he multiplied 1 by 1 into 14. 100 multiplied by 14, 60 multiplied by 14, and 3 multiplied by 14. Then after that, he added to find the product. Okay? So that is the answer. 14 multiplied by 3 is 42, 14 by 60 is 840, and 14 by 100 is 1,400. If I'm going to add all the partial products, the answer is the same as 2,282. How do you multiply three-digit numbers by two-digit numbers? Let's analyze this problem. Last month, a bakery sold 389 boxes of bagels. How many bagels did the store sell last month? So you can use multiplication to join equal groups. Always remember that in one box, there are 12 bagels. So the first step is you need to multiply by the ones, then regroup if necessary. So the first step is 2 multiplied by 9 is 18, so 8, regroup 1. Then 2 multiplied by 8 is 16 plus 1, that is 17. So 7, regroup 1. 3 multiplied by 2 is 6 plus 1 is 7. So my first partial product is 778. So I need to multiply now the second digit. Before I multiply the second digit, I need to put 0 first. Why? Because 1 is in the tenth place, so the answer must be in the tenth place. So 1 multiplied by 9 is 9. It should be in the tens place. 1 multiplied by 8 is 8. And 1 multiplied by 3 is 3. These are what we call the partial product. Then after that, what are we going to do is to add all the partial products. 8 plus 0 is 8. 
7 plus 9 is 16. So 6, regroup 1. 7 plus 1 is 8 plus 8 is 16. Regroup 1. So 1 plus 3 is 4. So the total sold, the store sold for 1,668 bagels last month. 300 multiplied by 10, a good estimate for the number of bagels sold at the bakery? The answer is no, because 3,000 is too low, because 300 multiplied by 10 is 3,000. The best estimate is 400 multiplied by 12, and 4,800 is closer. Let's proceed to the guided practice and independent practice. A theater can seat 540 people at one time. How many tickets are sold if the theater sells out every seat for one 30-day month? The answer is 16,200. We just simply multiply 540, multiply by 30, and multiply with zeros, okay? You just simply cancel the two zeros and put it in the product. Then 4 times 3 is 12, regroup 1. 5 times 3 is 15, plus 1 is 16. That's why the answer is 16,200. Next question, number 2. Is 500 multiplied by 300 a good estimate for the number of tickets sold at the theater in one month? So from 540, if you're going to round, it becomes 500. And 30, the same. If I'm going to multiply, multiply, 500 multiplied by 30 is 15,000. And 15,000 is a good estimate because 15,000 is close to 16,200. Next. Find each product and estimate to check that your answer is reasonable or not. So the first step, if we're going to apply the standard algorithm, 6 times 6 is 36, so 6 regroup 3. 6 times 3 is 18, plus 3 is 21, so 1 regroup 2. And 6 times 2 is 12, plus 2 is 14. So that is my first partial product. So what I'm going to do next, I need to put 0 before I multiply the 10th place. Because the first answer, when I multiply the tens place, it should be in the tens place. So 4 multiplied by 6 is 24, so 4 regroup 2. 4 multiplied by 3 is 12 plus 2, that is 14, regroup 1. 4 multiplied by 2 is 8 plus 1, that is equivalent to 9. So if I'm going to add all the partial products, this becomes 6, this is 5, this is 8, and this is 10. So the answer is 10,800. The same thing in number 4, 5 multiplied by 1 is 5, 5 times 6 is 30. Then I need to put 0 before I multiply the second digit. 2 times 1 is 2, and 2 times 6 is 12. Then I'm going to add all the partial products. This is 5, 2, 5, and 1. So the answer is 1,525. Next, number 5. 2 multiplied by 1 is 2. 2 multiplied by 5 is 10, so 0 regroup 1. 2 multiplied by 9 is 18 plus 1 is 19. Then I'm going to put 0. 6 times 1 is 6. 6 times 5 is 30, so 0 regroup 3. Then 6 times 9 is 54. 54 plus 3 is 57. Then I'm going to add. This must be 2, 6, 9, 8, and 5. So the answer is 58. 1962. Another 5 times 5 is 25, regroup 2. 8 times 5 is 40, plus 2 is 42, 2 regroup 4. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 4 is 9, so the answer is 925. Now it's your turn. Pause the video and answer the following. Time is up. Let's check your answers. Number 7, 510. Number 8, 16,056. Number 9, 31,218. Number 10, 30,135. 11, 2,500. 12, 191. 13, 742. 14, 5,310. 15, 6,480. 16, 16,650. 17, 16,835. 18, 11,203. 19, 30,260. 20, 9,658. 21, 2,457. And 22, 30,400. Now let's proceed to the third 
focus, the mathematical practices, and problem solving. How many times does a rabbit heart beat in one hour? So the rabbit heart rate beats per minute is 212. So since 60 minutes is equivalent to one hour, so we just simply multiply 212 multiplied by 60. And that is 12,720. Number 24. In one hour, how many more times does a rabbit's heart beat than a dog's heart? So write an equation to show your work. So 6,720 is the answer. Why? Because we just simply subtract 12,720, subtract by 6,000. And where this 6,000 came from? From the dog's heart rate, which is 100 multiplied by 60. So 100 multiplied by 60 is 6,000. And to get the difference, or to get how many more times does a rabbit's heart beat than a dog's heart, so we just simply subtract 12,720, subtract the 6,000. That's why the final answer is 6,720. If 3,198 a reasonable product of 724 times 44, the answer is no. Why? Because the answer should be much greater than 3,198. It takes about 700 to get up to 3,000 and there are 44 of them. So a better estimate would be 700, 727 becomes 700, and 44 becomes 40. So the, the estimated answer is 28. So this is closer to the actual product, which is 31,988. Number 26. A garden store sells plants in flats. There are six plants in each tray. Each flat has six trays. So the garden store sold 18 flats on Saturday and 21 flats on Sunday. How many plants did the garden store sell in all? The answer is 1,404 plants. Why? You just simply multiply 6 multiplied by 6. That is the first step. And that is equivalent to 36. Then you're going to add 18 plus 21. So the total number of flats is 39. Then 36 multiply by 39. The answer is 1,404 flats. Okay, so let's proceed to the next question. Trisha is building a rectangular patio. The patio will be 108 bricks wide and 19 bricks long. She has 2,000 bricks. Does she have enough bricks to build the patio? Explain and show your work in the box. The answer is no. She does not have enough. She actually needs 2,052, so she needs 52 more. Because if we're going to multiply 108 multiplied by 19, the first partial product is 972 because 9 times 8 is 72. Regroup 7. 9 times 0 is 0 plus 7 is 7. 9 times 1 is 9. So the first partial product is 972. Then I'm going to put 0 before multiplying 1. 1 times 8 is 8. 1 times 0 is 0. And 1 times 1 is 1. Then add all the partial products. So the answer is 2052. So in order to, to know if she have enough bricks to build the patio, we need to subtract. 2052 minus 2000. So she needs more 52. Okay, so that's why it's not enough. But that's it. Thank you so much and have a nice day.